In the last tutorial, we covered how to get GeoPandas working in PyCharm with Anaconda and how to read in a shapefile as GeoPandas data frame. And so this is the code we created there. Today, we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how you can display a simple shapefile um, as a figure using Python. Okay, so to do that, we're first going to need to install another Python package using our Anaconda prompt. So let's go Anaconda prompt for Anaconda 3. And remember, we just do conda install, and this is going to be the Descartes library. So Descartes is how it's how it's spelled, even though it's pronounced Descartes. Okay, so I'm going to do conda install Descartes. I'm going to hit enter. And once again, it's going to have to um, solve the environment before it can install. And so that might take just a few minutes. So I will pause the video um, while it does that. And then I'll start again when we have to confirm the installation. Okay, so we've uh, collected the package metadata, solved the package environment. And now we want to proceed with the installation. I will say yes. And we will uh, install the car, execute the transaction and we're done. Um, and just to be safe here, you can type conda deactivate your base environment, um, and that should make sure that we're all good to go in PyCharm. Okay, so now let's just come over here and type import a cart, and we'll make sure that that loads all right. Okay, so let's click run. We're still going to print out our geo data frame, the head, the header of that, and there it is, and we are good to go there. Awesome. Okay, so we've confirmed that we have the cart library installed. We actually don't need to import this. GeoPandas will automatically call it. We do need to import one more thing here, though. We need to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. And matplotlib will be automatically installed when you install GeoPandas, so you shouldn't have to worry about installing this. Okay, so now let's come down here and let's type gdf.plot, and then we're going to type plt, which is this matplotlib.pyplot.show. So this will create the plot, and this will show the plot. So let's click run and see if this works. All right, here we go. Still printing stuff out. And there you go. There you can see we've plotted our buffer. And now you'll notice, I'll just try to make this a little bit bigger for you. Now you'll notice that uh, these numbers are really large. This is because this is in a UTM projection. So these are meters north of the equator and these are north meters um, based on a false easting. Um, so that's how you can show a basic shape file with GeoPandas, okay? Now, hold on just a minute here. Um, we're gonna symbolize this based on some of the data we have in the shape file. You can see we have length and grid code um, and these things here. So let's just try some maps that symbolize based on these things. So let's start by symbolizing this based on length meters. So we can just come in here and type column equals length m. And when we run this, we should get a plot that symbolizes it based on the length. Okay, and there you can see that we have, sorry, I'll make this bigger for you, that we have a, uh, Oh, went away. Yep, that we have these different colors based on length. So you can see these long, this long one is uh, yellow, the next longest ones are green, and the shortest ones are the darkest blue. Pretty simple. Um, so though that's the basics there of loading a file with GeoPandas and then displaying that file um, in Python. Once again, this is a shape file. Uh, these are vector files, not raster files. 
So guys, thanks for watching. Um, remember to check out the website, opensourceoptions.com. I'm somewhat slow getting content up there, but there's some content up there right now, and I'll continue to add content as I have time. Um, the cor my courses are all going to be up there, my paid courses that have step-by-step uh, -step instructions for all these things, along with the data there uh, and forums that you can ask questions in. So if you're interested in those, check out opensourceoptions.com slash courses. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. We'll just run this up one more time to show you again what it looks like. And there's your figure. All right, guys, appreciate the support, and have a great day.